What's that, Earthy? Help the humans out with a summary of your first month at the monastery. Try to get them back into Earth time because we have been just, you know, spacing out so much in your world. Okay, a summary. Uh, well, okay, March 1st, 1969. I'm in Darjeeling. Hungry. Begging. Hippie. Happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, the next day, March 2nd, hang out at Goom Monastery. Can't speak any similar language. Get swept off the steps by the Buddhist gatekeeper. Okay. Uh, well, next morning, hey, Martha, spectacular sunlight. Big hug. She writes the letter. The next day, jump the border. <laughs> so exhausted, huh? Uh, Dorothy sends me on her bodhisattva loving kindness errand to score apple tree seedlings. Six day round trip in the Himalayas, during which I time I stay overnight with Naga Baba, whose hair trails the earth behind him. Authentic yogi, remote Himalayas. Uh, March 14th. Yeah, I decide to, to become a monk. I'm ordained by Nalan Chotak. Have my head shaved with a bear knife by Dukse Rinpoche. And then I'm become like compelled, obsessed, to review my whole life mentally in a cinematic, up-close review. Uh, any tensions anywhere in the life going all the way back to prenatal dreams inside mom? Okay. Um, yeah, complete the life review. Uh, Mid-March. Goddess Earth appears. <laughs> yeah. Uh, begin to uh, meditate in the daytime, too. Mm -hmm. Savor communing with earthy and light bodies. Enlightened horses come and pick us up, take us to a far out cosmic party. <laughs> Thank you, Omar, for guiding us. My uh, dwelling locus of consciousness reverses from earth to shht, the realm of the light bodies as I keep an ear open for the dinner gong at the temple. Well, uh, at the end of the month, I burn my American passport and all my identification, anything that had my name on it up in flames <laughs> to celebrate. Wow. Now I'm 22. <laughs> okay. Well, bedazzling vision. Witnessing the engine room of the universe in full on operation. Seeing the source of creation and destruction. Mm. I begin to wander the foothills, the forested foothills surrounding the monastery with a sketch pad and a pencil, and begin to automatically draw whatever comes into my spirit. And strange, but I only seem to draw funny Pictures of the earth turned outside in and the mountain peaks facing inward. <laughs> Puzzling. Well, another thing that puzzles me is this Indian guy who appears in the hills all the time. Kind of like looking over my shoulder at, onto my sketch pad. He asked me what I'm doing, and I'm telling him, you know, this is the earth turned outside in. Have a look. 
Well, in fact, he's an international spy catcher. Mm -hmm. Plain clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently the news of my residence at Chitregupa has filtered down three kilometers to Manibanjang, where the border post is, the little sentry box with the soldier and the pole that goes up and down. You know, to let jeeps get up to the monastery from Darjeeling. Mm -hmm. So, uh, whew, so two Indian border police in full uniform uh, uh, appear in the at the monastery, and I am summoned forthwith to meet with them in the kitchen. They politely asked to see my Indian and Nepali visas in my passport. <laughs> and just, you know, Trixie said, just be honest, young man. So I tell him I burn my passport because I'm staying here for 10 years. It's like a snow cave scene for me. 10 years, extreme isolation. <laughs> Which causes the border officials to smile and everybody understands and I never see them again as they are led out of the kitchen by the cook with six fingers as he giggles <laughs> they wanted to see the white guy and there he was <laughs> All right, back to the sketch pad. I found, find out, you know, just like playing around, that if you turn worlds of sentient reality outside in, such as Gaia, planet Earth, uh, you end up with a lot of concentric spheres, mm -hmm. like the Earth turned outside in, hmm. sketching in. Uh, then I see myself... Uh, as part of a colossal biosmear of life around the inside of our planet turned outside in. Mm -hmm. Four billion people, 1969. Cellular smear of life around the inside of the Earth. And there I see myself. What? Like the microscopic fiber of a cosmic peach. Turned outside in. I'm starting to notice things here about the order of the universe, the nature of reality. Because I notice, like, it, the, uh, every sphere is an admixture of the sphere on either side of it. Let me take you down this path a little bit. The uh, mind sphere. A sphere is a blending of spirit and body. Mm -hmm. The body is a synthesis of mind and planet Earth, nature. Mm -hmm. The Earth is a composite of the cosmos and the sentient beings, us, who perceive the cosmos. Where is music on this map? Music. Hmm. Look at the sketch pad. Oh, music resides in this spherical interface between mind and spirit. Hmm. Notice. Pure divine music uh, helps one to leave one's mind behind and enter into the world of translingual spirit, lyrical spirit, all right? Using these maps, you know, now I've got a map, a cosmic paradigm I can locate and place in true reality many notions in my formerly myopic, extremely sheltered, narrow-minded sense of things and world. For example, what about trance dance? You know, electronic dance music festivals. 
sweeping the planet at this time. What about trans dance? Where, does that fit into the cosmic map? Hmm. Yeah. These evolving notions of a reversibilized Earth and her embracing neighborhood of spherical dimensions. <sighs> overwhelms my meditations in the attic mm -hmm. take some right on over from dull pencil sketches and a sketch pad well in meditation in the attic burst into full three-dimensional color dramatic color shimmering slightly it's like the universe has become a self-born, colossal, translucent jellyfish with five concentric interrelating organs shimmering and floating through the sea of the cosmos. All right, I try to get it all into my head. Like, okay, uh, 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 starting with the all-containing golden cosmic self incorporating my little self. Yeah. Uh, the mind, body, the natural planet, including plant and animal life. Well, if you go further in, you get to the, come out to the moon and the stars and the galaxies and converging and disappearing into a vanishing whole. In the centrum of my macrocosmic self, the sanctum sanctorium of my pure spirit. And if I hadn't seen enough already, <laughs> these far horizon intersections of the physical universe in all directions come raying out of the other side of itself, vanishing point back unto itself, shimmering. Concentric spheres of its former self once again, just like before it disappeared. <clears throat> Brilliant, glorious, the shimmer of the universe, the aura of the universe, mm. caused by the simultaneous expansion and contraction of the light rays, so suddenly startling, the stillness of infinitely integrated. <laughs>